Welcome back again guys to another Tech Guru video where I try to make technology easy. Uh, so today we are in Adobe Illustrator. I am going to be explaining the concept behind the Live Paint Bucket tool. Uh, for those of you who remember the old Microsoft program called Paint where you could just grab that paint bucket and start filling in the lines. Uh, Adobe has something within Illustrator that is very similar to that but not similar at all in that it allows you to paint large spaces and areas of an object that have paths that are complete. So what I mean by that is, as you see here with this bunny that I have on the screen here, the face is enclosed so I can paint that one specific color. Now in order to do this we need to grab our live paint bucket tool. So in order to do that you may have to hover over the shape builder tool which is right here. You'll see it. It looks like a little uh, cursor and then some circles above it there. If you click and hold on to that you will then be able to go down and select the live paint bucket tool. The hot key for that is K or short cut key, whatever you want to call it. Click on that. You now should have a little paint bucket spilling out paint that is now your cursor. Once you have done that, uh, what you then need to do is you need to go up and grab your selection tool, okay? So you need to click on your selection tool. And then you need to click and hold and select all of the paths that make up your picture or image. You can do that by going to edit select all as well, but I just wanted to go uh, go ahead and just grab the selection tool, click and hold, and it'll select all of the points and paths within your image. Once you have selected uh, all the points and paths, what you then want to do is, uh, with your live paint bucket tool, is you want to hover over certain areas of the image. And as you can see, as I hover over certain images, the the area is surrounded with red. That is going to be the border in which the color is placed. So if I click now within that area, the face of this sweet little bunny is now turned to a yellow color. Now, I will tell you this, you can also change the color of paths with the live paint bucket tool, but um, I wouldn't recommend doing that. You can do that just as easily by going and selecting your paths and then changing the stroke color of those paths. If you start getting into the live paint bucket tool and using that to change the color of your paths, it gets a little convoluted when you go into your layer panel, but that's a little more advanced. So with the live paint bucket tool, I can go and select any color that I want, okay? Whether it be in my color guide up here, whether it be up here under the fill color and I add a new color, it really doesn't matter. You can change the color in any way that you would like. The Live Paint Bucket tool is great for artists and people who, who are illustrators uh, like myself in times in that there are a large areas that you need to fill in. So if, if, if you draw or sketch an image and then put it into Illustrator, there are a lot of times there's going to be large areas you do not want to paint and shade and you just want to go ahead and lay down the base color. The Live Paint Bucket tool is great for that. So I'm going to go ahead and select a nice little um, well, let's just light blue color here. And then as you see, as I'm hovering over this left ear over here, it again is bordered with that red outline. That is just letting me know where the color is going to go. So I will go ahead and paint his ears that color and then I'll go back in and I'll paint the rest of his body this yellow color and then maybe I'll make his shoes this little brown color here. That is a nasty brown color. Anyways, it all works just like I you know, was saying. The red will border the area where the color will go. And again, guys, this is the live paint bucket tool. And once you're done painting and shading your image, you can go ahead and click on the direct selection tool and then so deselect all of those points. So now, as you see here, this wonderful picture of this creepy bunny is now colored in. And I did all of that with the live paint bucket tool. And you can always go back in with the blob brush or the paint brush tool and add some shading and some coloring effects that makes your image stand out a lot. But the live paint bucket tool will allow you to fill in large areas with color. Uh, and again, you just access that tool by clicking right over here where it says Live Paint Bucket Tool. And as you see here, the color that it's going to paint is hovering above my 
uh, paint bucket tool. So right now I have black selected. If I go up here and change it to a red color or a pink color, that color then hovers above my paint bucket tool. So you always will know what color you're going to be placing on your object. So guys, this has been another Tech Guru video. If this video helped you, please help me and subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Really do appreciate that. And if for any reason this video did not answer your questions or if you have any further questions, put them in the comment box below. Check out our forums. The link will be below this video and you can post any questions or concerns you may have in regards to Adobe Illustrator. Thanks again for the watch of this video and I will see you guys next time.